I think I'm on. Oh no. I'm really bad at this. Okay, I think I'm on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, thank you. The sound is on. I'm never quite sure. I'll figure it out eventually. Anyways, happy Friday to everybody. Um, yes, it is Friday, and no, I'm not Shannon. Uh, um, if you watched yesterday, Shannon explained that I had a dentist appointment yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and so had to leave before 3. So she graciously um, offered to switch days with me, and I'm here with you today. So, so what can I tell you? Um, it is a picture perfect day t today. The kind of day when people say they want to bottle a day up, today is that day. It is sunny. Um, it is about 70 degrees. It's not hot. It's not windy. It's just beautiful. And here comes CP Joyce in the door. Um, so I have been in here with our most recent spays, Amelia and Pilot. Um, we're doing pretty well. The change in 24 hours is always amazing to me. Yesterday they were, you know, weren't quite out of the anesthesia and they were whimpering and they didn't have a good night from what I heard um, but today they're up and about they've eaten a little bit of food and um, anyways they're doing well as are Kara and Kringle who were spayed the day before so I think everybody's on track in terms of recovery and uh, they seem to be doing great if my memory is correct on Wednesday, we have two more uh, groomen and cadet, I believe, are the next two up. So we're moving along with the spays and neuters. You know, we'd like to get them done before they get too old and before too many of the females come into heat. Um, anyway, that's, that's the status there. Somebody's asking who's in the house today. So in the house today, we have our typical residents, Bailey, Bentley, Chaos, Miss Gretchen, and Amelia and Pilot. That's who's here today. <laughs> Tumblr is back in the barn kennels, so you can chat with Carlene about that at mail call. I think Gretchen may be reinstated to her status as house dog, but I'm not sure that's definite. Okay, someone's asking, hi, four wheel girl. Yes, I have helped with the birth of the puppies. I've helped with a few litters, um, actually. it's amazing to the first time I didn't know what to expect and it's it's just amazing um, I didn't know that each came out in their own little sack and I didn't realize how much attention and work the midwives if you will with Carlene leading of course have to do to make sure they're out and they're breathing pretty quickly and when there is a dog who struggles it's heart-wrenching to watch Carlene work on that dog um, it's wonderful when the outcome is good. As you know, sometimes it's not, but the experience is, is, is really hard to describe, but um, I really enjoy participating as much as I'm able to participate in that. 
Anything unusual today? Unusual? I don't think so. You know, I did my typical stuff around the house, um, and out in the kennels. Um, seem to be a lot of um, visitors on the property today. Um, I know. Well, we have Joyce is still here. Dumpster Kitty Eileen arrived this afternoon. We have a couple from Washington, Maryland area here. They have been here before. Uh, they arrived yesterday and they're still here today. And we've had a lot of um, interns. Most of the uh, students who are coming here to fulfill a school internship, I think are trying to finish up. Uh, they're winding down this week. If they're seniors, they're going to be graduating very soon. So uh, there have been a lot of bodies up and down the driveway today. Excuse me, I want to see what my little friend's eating. What are you doing, sweet girl? No, no, not you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Amelia's trying to open the mail for Carlene. Well, uh, you may notice I'm wearing my second favorite Boston team shirt today. My first, as I told you, is the Boston Red Sox. I'm also a huge basketball and Boston Celtics fan. Always have been. Um, when I was uh, growing up, probably like in you know high, junior high, high school, my father had a friend who had season tickets to the Celtics, and occasionally, actually, very occasionally he would offer them to my dad on a Friday night, and my father would take me. Uh, they were great seats, and it was at the time when the Celtics were really a wonderful, high-scoring, successful team when they were winning lots of their world championships. So they were wonderful games to behold. Um, so I I'm, I'm, don't follow them as closely as I did, but I do follow them, and um, I'm hoping that they are able to rebuild and get back to where they were. Also, a little connection for me, my, my son Nick, um, excuse me, was also a big basketball and Celtics fan. He probably got it from us. Um, in fact, I don't know if you can see my green sneakers, which I often wear here, my green sneakers. Um, when I first got them, Nick said to me, Mom, what's with the green sneakers? And I said, what do you mean? I like them. They're comfortable. To which he replied, unless you play for the Boston Celtics, you have no business wearing green sneakers. And every time I wore them, <laughs> he would remind me of that. So every time I put them on, it gives me a little chuckle, and I think about Nick. But enough about that. Did I make anything interesting for dinner tonight for Colleen? I didn't have to make dinner tonight. Uh, rumor has it that Chinese food is going to be on the menu for dinner tonight. I did, however, make some salmon for lunch. And I know not everybody likes salmon. You either do or you don't, I think. Carleen does. Grace and I do. And um, so I made some salmon for lunch, which Carleen said she enjoyed very much. So... Do I ever get the names of the dogs wrong or make them mixed up? Occasionally. Um, I'm pretty pretty proud of myself. Uh, considering we have 31 pups here, I do know most of them right away. Some of the, um, the black and white ones, um, I have to look for a certain, you know, something, discerning feature or mark before I'm 100% sure. But um, yes, I do occasionally get them mixed up, but not, not too often, surprisingly. Oh, 
gosh, I'm laughing because Gretchen is hiding, and you may have seen her do it. She's on the kitchen futon, and occasionally the mattress and or the, the comforter hang over and make a, like a secret hiding place underneath. I've never seen a dog that loves to go under there as much as she does. So she's under there now. She thinks she's hiding. Um, her whole rear end is hanging out, but she's probably saying, I'm hiding under here. She's pretty funny, actually. Oh, I hope not. Who's that, Amelia? Yeah. Amelia, sweetheart, go back in the other room. And probably. Any big plans for the weekend? No, not not no big plans. Um, Gretchen, you'd be good. Um, when I leave here, I'm going to go home and get cleaned up because I've had a few dogs jump on me after being out in the pond. And to say they were dirty is an understatement. Um, I put Garnet and Finn out to play. If I hadn't known it was Garnet when I went to retrieve her, I would have thought someone dropped a strange dog on the property. She was so dirty, she almost looked black. And it's amazing, a few hours later, the dirt, she dry, they dry, and it just kind of falls off, and she doesn't look bad. She looks a heck of a lot better than I do, to be honest with you. So anyway, I am on my way to my cousin's house after I clean myself up. Her daughter's going to her junior prom tonight. Um, it's only 15 minutes away, so I'm going to go and see how beautiful Victoria looks. That's my big plan for tonight. Um, I have not visited Pockets today. I haven't even made it down past the guest house. That's as far as I've been today. The guest house in the pond, which is the middle of the driveway. I have not been any farther. So, no, I haven't seen her except on the camera and not much there either. There's a fly buzzing in my ear right now. I don't know if that's the fly that's driving Bentley crazy or not, but I can hear it. but I don't know if she does. They were out a little while ago. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm having two conversations. Yeah, it's rude. Was okay. Are there any other questions? I can't think of anything else to share with you today. Yes, I'll, ask, I'll answer. The, I'll, I will answer this last question. Have I seen Bentley panic today? I have. He did panic again this morning. Carlene was sitting here, talking actually to the couple who's here, and all of a sudden Bentley flew off the futon and tried to get into Carlene's desk again. Um, it's funny because at the time he did that, I had just received. I was in the kitchen, swiffering. There's something new. So I was swiffering and my phone had just received a text message. And when it does, it makes a binging sound. And so we were wondering if it was either the swiffer sound or the sound of my phone. Maybe We thought maybe the sound of the phone uh, mimicked the sound in the elevator. So I brought the swiffer out and swiffered around and that didn't seem to be it. I didn't think that was it. Um, and then the gentleman sent me a couple of text messages to see how he reacted. And he did like look. He did, you know, turn and quickly would look at it. But at the same time that was going on, a fly was flying around. So we don't know if it was either, both, or neither of those things that caused him to have his little panic attack. So we're still searching.
Okay. Um, have a great weekend, everybody. We will see you on Monday. Take care.